Hi, I'm Greg Woolley, and this is the Gypsum Association's FAQs. And just in, from info at gypsum.org, we have another question here that our very own Michael Schmeider, Director of Codes, Standards, and Research, is going to answer for us today. Michael, after a fire event, does the gypsum board need to be replaced in rooms where fire occurred? What about rooms without fire exposure? Hey, Greg, thanks for asking that question. It's a pretty complicated one. Uh, let's first just think about um, the heat and the fire aspect. If you look at our GA600 fire resistance and sound control design manual, it states, it is the intent that classifications shall register performance during the period of exposure and shall not be construed as having determined suitability for use after fire exposure. This is directly uh, addressing fire rated systems. And basically what that states is, that system's been exposed directly to the fire, it should be replaced. Even non-fire rated systems probably should be replaced. Of course, have a certified inspector or fire protection engineer take a look because those boards will have experienced um, calcination as well, becoming more brittle, having the paper burned off, et cetera. However, there are rooms that are not directly fire exposed and those should be evaluated by a professional. If the heat was high enough, they could have begun calcinating Again, an inspector or fire protection engineer is your best bet there. Now, unfortunately, fire doesn't bring just fire. It brings water and it brings smoke. So first let's talk about water. Water uh, is very damaging to board. If it's there, if the board is wet too long, it can mold and mildew. It can cause delamination of paper, et cetera. All these things should be evaluated on the board, whether it's a rated or a non-rated assembly. If you see signs of damage such as that, the board should be replaced. Some of the board is even going to be inherently replaced because some of it will need to be removed to make sure that what's inside the wall, such as studs, uh, utilities, insulation, et cetera, aren't damaged or molding or mildewing. Now let's move to smoke. Smoke is extremely subjective. Some people can smell it even if, it's been, if a wall has been sealed up. Some people never gain a hint of it at all. There are services out there that can help you evaluate this, and we suggest utilizing those to get the best results. And again, all this information is available on our website, www.gypsum.org. Thank you, Michael. I'm one of those people that can also smell smoke about a mile away for, uh, for week, weeks on end after the fire. Um, you mentioned the GA600, and you can purchase that on our online bookstore. If you have any further questions about this topic or any topics related to gypsum panel products, do not hesitate to email us at info at gypsum.org. Thank you. Mm -hmm.